Hello folks, welcome back to another Keep Productive video. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. And today's video, we're very lucky because I'm gonna be passing over to Justin, who has created the Obsidian Made Simple course. We're actually offering a preview lesson here into his a guide of fleeting notes inside of Obsidian. Now he's gonna show you how to do this and in context of using it with GTD Capture to really make ideas um, a more sort of embedded experience inside of your Obsidian account. So you can watch this video, enjoy it, and naturally you can check out the Obsidian Made Simple course below, which has plenty of content and resources to dive in depth with Obsidian. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like and do check out Justin's channel, Effective Remote Work as well. Cheers, folks. One type of note to be aware of in the Zettelkasten system is the fleeting note. Fleeting notes are probably the most plentiful in the Zettelkasten or in any type of personal knowledge management system, but they're also kind of the least valuable because fleeting notes are thoughts and ideas that don't have much shape or form yet. Let's think of fleeting notes in the context of the getting things done methodology by David Allen. If you're familiar with that at all, you start off by capturing your thoughts, capturing things to do. And that's essentially what we're doing with the taking fleeting notes is we're just capturing things that we're thinking about. So as you can see here on my daily note that I have today, I'm thinking about fleeting notes. I uh, like to think fleeting notes in the context of GTD capture. Okay, these are fleeting notes because these are thoughts that I'm having, but they're not necessarily totally fleshed out into these broad permanent notes that I'm incorporating into a Zettelkasten type workflow. These notes do belong in your system, but long-term they need further development to be of much greater use. Now, granted, some notes can be just a quick sentence and they're full of gold. They're a gold mine of information. But a lot of times when we have off the cuff thoughts, which is what fleeting notes are, that process in my mind is akin to taking a rough diamond and then cutting it into a beautiful stone. You know that that thing is something of value, but it takes a little bit of time and effort to develop it into the finished product. So that leaves some questions. First and foremost, how do you capture them? Well, for one, you can use your daily notes inside of Obsidian. That's what I like to use inside the workflow to gather these fleeting thoughts. You can also use a notebook and then transfer them into your vault at a later point in time. I personally use a notebook to capture thoughts and ideas that I have as well as tasks for the day. And then I will transfer anything that's relevant to my Obsidian vault at some point during the week. The other thing you can do is you can use an app like Drafts on the iPhone. Drafts is an excellent quick capture application for text. It's free with a premium tier if you need a lot of the extra automation functionality. But a lot of times I'll just pop open my phone, open up drafts, and I'll just type my quick notes in there. And then when I'm back at a computer, I will either pull open drafts on my Mac or I will just take a note of what's in there and I'll either just transcribe it from my phone and retype it on my computer or something of that sort. So they can live in your daily notes. You can use a notebook uh, someplace else that you can use to capture them. If you're especially looking at trying to keep them more temporarily is to use a type of scratch pad note. So how you can do that is you can just create a brand new note and you can title it scratch pad. Then instead of leaving it just in your side pane over here um, where you can browse to it or using the open, uh, command O for opening, what you can do is you can actually drag this over into the sidebar. So then if I just title this scratch pad for my own reference, anywhere that I'm at inside of my Obsidian vault, I have a scratch pad and it acts just like a note. So if I write down, I need to make a video, video on permanent notes, then it's there. So if I 
find that over here, scratch pad. You can see it works just like that. If I open up the knowledge graph and find the scratch pad, see it shows up there as well. So it's very powerful to be able to have the scratch pad in the sidebar uh, to take notes. How do you contextualize these? That is probably the most important thing, especially if you're going to come back to them at a later point in time. Well, there's a couple things you can do here. First thing is you can see here in the scratch pad and in my daily note that I have these wiki linked notes. If you know that there's a thought you need to come back and develop inside of those notes, you can just click into that. And one way you can leave yourself a little breadcrumb to know that you have something to do there is you can use something like a to-do tag. So what I will do is I'll just put to-do there and you can see it comes up in the tag pane over here. And then when you click on that, it filters and shows all of the notes that have that tag. If I do the same over here, you can see if I redo the search, whoops, that fleeting notes and permanent notes show up there as something that I need to flesh out a little bit further. You could also do that in line as well by just saying to do, and then you can see it here in the search that pops up that, well, today I'm thinking about fleeting notes. You know that you might have something that you need to flesh out further. Another approach that you could take is you could also do a wiki linked note just say to do there instead of a tag. What's helpful about this is that instead of seeing it in the tag search over here, you can see it in the backlinks pane. So if we open up the backlinks pane on the to do note, you can see that I have that in context there as well, and then can browse straight to it. There's lots of different ways that you can contextualize these notes. It's important to keep them contextualized simply because that's how you discover them again. Now there might be fleeting notes that are just fleeting and that's okay. You don't necessarily have to take everything into your vault and craft it into some beautiful piece of literature that you're proud of. This can be a place for you to dump ideas, dump thoughts, and not necessarily come back and access them at a later time. However, that is what is powerful about unlinked mentions and about the knowledge graph inside of Obsidian, the search features, is that you can stumble upon fleeting ideas and thoughts that you had previously that you're like, eh, that wasn't really all that useful. You can stumble upon them again, and maybe at a later point in time for yourself, that idea has a brand new context, a brand new value to you, and then you'll wanna take that and develop it further at that time.